Hello beautiful children of the Most High God. We welcome you to the Rhapsody of Realities for the 16th of January as Pastor Chris Oyakilome teaches on how you can release the power of God into action through speaking in this article titled Courageously Declare His Word. Hallelujah. He begins with the theme scripture from Hebrews chapter 13 verses 5 to 6 and it writes, For he had said, I will never leave thee nor forsake thee, so that we may boldly say, The Lord is my helper, and I will not fear what man shall do unto me. Our underlying portion above, boldly say, is tarhio lego in the Greek, and it means to courageously declare. Lego means to say or to speak, but it also means to boast. God said something so that we could courageously declare or boastfully affirm the same thing. This is amazing. That was exactly what Jesus did when he encountered Satan in Matthew chapter 4. He said it is written in verse 7. It shows us that the way to respond to life's circumstances is with the scriptures. For example, when you say, Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world, you're responding with the word. You're courageously affirming the word. That verse doesn't exactly say, Greater is he that is in me. Rather, it says, Greater is he that is in you. But in response, you personalize it. That is when it becomes rhema, glory to God. God gave us the scriptures so we could speak them forth. The Word of God created all things. Therefore, everything in life responds to the spoken word from your lips. The principle is, the word in your heart and in your mouth, you release the power of God into action in your behalf through speaking. Hallelujah! Glory! Isn't it wonderful to know that all of what God tells us to do is not empty, but always has a purpose and a meaning to it? Let us boldly declare this confession together. I am a winner all the time. I live over and above all limitations and circumstances. There is no situation I cannot change because my tongue is a tree of life with which I guarantee my health success, safety, wellness, and wholeness. Hallelujah! We encourage you to study these scriptures further for more insight into the topic we discussed today in Proverbs chapter 15 verse 23, Romans chapter 10 verse 10, and Joshua chapter 1 verse 8. Glory to God forevermore! We are certain you are excited more than ever to put this to work in your nation, in your city, your business, and in any circumstance of life. If this is your first time joining us, we invite you to subscribe to this channel to receive more articles like this by Pastor Chris that are meant to build your faith strong and edify your spirit. And don't keep it to yourself. Our Rhapsody of Realities audio podcast is available in Malay and Mandarin. So click on the share button, have it sent to your family, friends and colleagues. Let us know how these messages have impacted your life like it has throughout the world and let others know you thought it was worth hearing. Be expectant for tomorrow's article and remember to meditate on what you received today. Hallelujah! We trust you have been blessed by this devotional. We invite you to make Jesus Christ the Lord of your life by praying thus. O Lord God, I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. I believe He died for me and God raised Him from the dead. I believe He is alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day. Through Him and in His name, I have eternal life. I am born again. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I am now a child of God. Hallelujah! Congratulations! You are now a child of God. To receive more information on how you can grow as a Christian, 
please get in touch with us by emailing us at tni.msia at gmail.com. That's tni.msia at gmail.com. We look forward to hearing your testimony. You are blessed.